It's a huge honour uh, to be inducted into the Sports Australia Hall of Fame along with the uh, other inductees as well that have left a mark on, on their sport and I was looking at uh, the list of people that are in the Sports Australia Hall of Fame and to have my name alongside the likes of uh, those people that have uh, dominated their sport is a huge honour and rugby league's a, a team sport um, so yeah I've got my teammates to thank uh, for making me look so good. <laughs> <laughs> Actually one of, the, one of the things that strikes me about this award Jonathan it's not just sporting prowess um, this accolade also recognises and you just uh, displayed it then dignity, integrity, courage and ambition um, does that make this award even more special and as you say it puts it out there to all the people who have been around you through your career? Yeah, definitely. It's, um, you know, rugby league's a journey. Uh, you start playing it as a kid and I've had some wonderful coaches throughout my career from my um, earlier days and uh, you also need uh, good family support uh, around you as well. So, you know, they've had a massive impact on me throughout my career and, um, yeah, it's uh, very humbling and uh, very nice to be able to, you know, get recognised for the work I did on, in rugby league. But um, like I said, it's a team sport and, um, yeah, um, that's why you play the game because you're playing with your mates and that's why I started. But uh, you don't play for the individual accolades. But, um, yeah, I'm just extremely humbled uh, to be a part of it. Yeah, you have to have a fair bit of talent as well, though. I mean, you can be a little bit uh, <laughs> modest and, and talk about what you feel have been your greatest achievements as, uh, as an individual. Um, yeah, look, um, you know, my work ethic, um, I worked extremely hard, I had to be dedicated, um, so I had to make a lot of sacrifices as well. So, um, but like I said, you know, you've got that support around you to be able to help you. Um, you know, my greatest memory on the rugby league field was, uh, you know, the, definitely the, the 2015 grand final. Uh, whilst I did win one at the Bulldogs in 2004, I played a, a small role uh, in that premiership team. But uh, to be the co-captain of the Cowboys, and that's why I was recruited to the club, uh, was to help them win a premiership. And we made the grand final in 05, but lost, and it took me another 10 years to, to get in one. So they don't come around too often, and to be a part of the first ever premiership team, um, it's something I'm extremely proud of. And uh, it was great for you know the community of North Queensland. Uh, they love their footy up here, and you know to take the trophy out to all those communities, uh, the remote communities up you know in the Cape, uh, as far as Mount Isa, um, and seeing the smiles and the faces uh, mm. that that. Uh, grand final did uh, for the community is, is, you know, images that I'll never forget. Yeah, and obviously you had such an impact in State of Origin as well. As, as your playing career w wound down and you took on other responsibilities, was it a difficult time for you to, to look at the future and how your life would be without the, play the game? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say difficult, but um, I started to put things in place uh, before I'd come to the end of my uh, rugby league career. So, um, you know, I signed an exclusive deal with uh, Channel 9 uh, when I was still playing. Um, I set up a, an academy which is based around confidence, courage and self-belief and we run educational programs in Yarraba, Kaunyama and TI and um, it's about keeping the kids in school but uh, we also provide employment opportunities as well for the next generation of our, our nation so um, you know, I'm extremely lucky and, and proud to have the team that I have uh, working for me at the academy and you know, it's about the, the young kids and, and helping them uh, achieve their dreams uh, like I was when I was a kid so you know all the kids want to be sports stars but uh, it's important that they know that uh, they need something to fall back on because you still got you know 30 40 50 years left in the workforce we're living longer uh, these days so it's about inspiring the next generation and um, through the platform of rugby league I've been able to do that so um, yeah I've had that set up now and um, yeah, that's what it's about, um, is yeah, inspiring the next generation. Yeah, yeah, and all of those as well, uh, I know you are being modest, are reasons why you have been inducted into the, the Hall of Fame. It is giving back to the sport, but I reckon it has a fair bit to do with your absolutely beautiful smile and your infectious personality as well. Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, thank you, you're starting to make me blush here. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the point. Is it right, Jonathan, that when you um, initially got the call ab about this, that you thought it was a bluff, a joke? Yeah, my uh, wife uh, said I've just received a call from uh, the Sports Australia Hall of Fame and I was like, oh, this is a G up, someone's getting us here. And, um, yeah, end up making the phone call back and... Uh, yeah, like I said, you know, when I started to look through the list of uh, the Hall of Fame, I was like blown away that, you know, my name's going to be uh, inducted mm. alongside them. And as you mentioned, you know, the, those people, uh, Don Bradman, Dawn Fraser, Cathy Freeman, um, yeah, they changed the sport in our country. So, uh, yeah, extremely humbled to be beside them and very proud to be uh, inducted alongside the other nominees this season. Just very quickly, because I've talked to you for too long, um, what about uh, Saturday's grand final? NRL is in a very great place, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It was one of the great grand finals. Um, you know, the Broncos had it wrapped up at the 60-minute mark, but uh, as everyone knows, you've got to play for 80 minutes against the uh, Penrith Panthers, otherwise they make you pay, and uh, that's what, what happened. So... Um, whether you love them or, or hate the Penrith Panthers, you've got to certainly respect what they've uh, achieved in, in the game. Uh, the first club to win uh, three premierships in the NRL era, but uh, to match the, that mighty side of the Parramatta Eels during the 80s. So, uh, yeah, fully congratulations to the Penrith Panthers for what they've uh, achieved. But today is all about you, so we wish you many, many congratulations <laughs> on this accolade. And uh, thanks for talking to us on ABC News. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for having me.